Hello, ninth graders, and welcome to your uh, module one for the third trimester of 2020. This has been quite an interesting year, and we've got lots of stuff, lots of stories to tell our kids and grandkids for sure. Let's go over a few guidelines before we go right into the class. First of all, remember that this for this class, for writing class, your documents need to be sent in Word as a Word document. Uh, some of you send PDFs and that would be okay, except for the fact that sometimes I'm not able to change it into words and add my comments. And I want you to see my comments so you can see what you did wrong so that you can improve. Okay, so send me your document in Word. I'm gonna copy paste and send it back to you with my comments. Also, some of you are not even reading the comments and you keep making the same mistakes over and over again. That doesn't make any sense. Once you turn in an assignment, go back and read the comments. Not just look at the grade, read the comments so that you can do better next time. Okay, so let's get right into this. First of all, we're gonna be talking about a few things that need to be cleared up before we continue. So what exactly is a sentence, people? A sentence starts with a capital letter and it ends with a period. You see that thing there? That is not called a point or a dot, it's called a period or a full stop. So even if this sentence has two commas, that doesn't mean that it's four different sentences. It's one sentence, it starts with a capital letter, it ends with a period. And this sentence says, the man walked to his car, which was parked all the way to the end of the lot when the concert was over. It has two commas, but it's still one sentence. Why? Because the sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. Then that brings me to the second thing, a paragraph. A paragraph is a group of sentences, okay? So all of the sentences that are together belong to that one paragraph. If I do something like this, then that's not one paragraph, those are three paragraphs. And a lot of you made that mistake in your last assignment, don't do that. Once you break the line, you created a different paragraph. So in order for this to be one paragraph, it has to look like this, okay? All the sentences are together. Now remember I told you that a sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. So then if I had to look for the thesis statement in this, paragraph, it would be this sentence. First of all, because for this class, the thesis statement is always going to be the last sentence in the first paragraph. And second, because this starts with a capital letter and ends with a period. If I place a comma before this word, then it would no longer be the thesis statement. The thesis statement will have to begin all the way up where, wherever the next period is. And let's talk about titles. In English, it's very different from Spanish, and that's okay, two completely different languages. In English, your title can be written in two ways. You either write everything in capital letters or you write the first letter of each word in capital letters, okay? So you use complete higher case or just the first letter of each word is capitalized or higher case, okay? As the examples here, stories change lives or stories change lives, one of two. One of those two. So if you write your title in, in lowercase letters, it's wrong. And if you write only the first word, capitalized and all the others in lowercase is also wrong. So that brings us to our assignment. In ninth grade, this trimester, you're gonna be writing descriptive essays. And what is a descriptive essay? It's a piece in which the reader makes, the writer, sorry, makes a description of a person, place, or thing or event. So the writer is going to describe a person, place, thing, or event. And some examples of descriptive essays would be your first day of school. You're gonna describe your first day of school. You're gonna describe Queen Elizabeth's bedroom or the house of your dreams, your dream house. Okay, those are examples of topics that can be used in a descriptive essay. So here's your assignment. And this assignment is worth 20 points which means that each part is worth five points. The number, the first one, write an introductory paragraph for an essay describing your favorite movie character. Now you're not gonna describe your movie character in the introductory paragraph. You're just gonna introduce it. So you're gonna tell me in that paragraph what the movie is, who the character is, and make sure you have a thesis statement because your second thing is to underline the thesis statement. 
Remember, the thesis statement is the last sentence in the first paragraph. The last sentence in the first paragraph. So for example, in this paragraph here, this would be your thesis statement, okay? The last sentence in your first paragraph. Your third assignment is to write a creative title. And one more time, this is the guideline for writing titles in English, either completely capitalized or the first letter of each word is capitalized. And your fourth assignment or your fourth step in this assignment is to give the word count, including the title. So if I wanted to know how many words are in this entire page, I would do like this. And word tells me that there's 69 words here. Okay, so those are your assignments. And please, 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 please pay attention to this. Understand what is a sentence, what is a paragraph, and what is a title, how a title is supposed to be written. And give me a creative title. So for instance, if you're going to describe your favorite movie character, a creative title will not be my favorite movie character. No, that's a topic. I want you to give me a creative title, like beauty and brains, or the best abs in town, or something like that. Make it creative. Okay, kids, if you have any questions, remember that you can email me at itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. It must be English at gmail.com. Remember to send your assignment as a Word document and send it on time. And pay attention to all the guidelines. Okay, have fun with that. Bye-bye.